Colonel Major Todd McGee, T-O-D-D-M-C-G-H-E-E -E, from the Concord Police Department. This afternoon, two Concord police officers were dispatched to the Concord Mills Mall after someone called 911 and reported their credit cards were stolen from them inside a store by three people. The caller provided a description of what the suspects were wearing and told the officers where they were. The officers arrived outside the mall and quickly located the suspects based on the descriptions given by the victim. As soon as officers attempted to approach three suspects, they ran from the officers and eventually fled back into the mall away from the officers. The officers pursued the suspects through the mall. At the end of the foot pursuit, one of the three suspects produced a handgun. At this point, both officers, one of the officers said over the radio that the suspect had a gun and both officers gave multiple commands to drop the weapon. Instead of complying, the suspect with the gun fired a shot, at least one, at one of the officers. The officers pursued the armed suspect into the construction area where the suspect Excuse me. The officer pursued the, su the suspect into the construction area where he fired the shot. The bullet striking the ground just in front of the police officer. Both officers returned fire, striking the suspect. After the suspect was shot, officers called EMS and provided first aid. The suspect was flown to Atrium Main Medical Center in Charlotte in critical condition. The two other suspects who fled from the officers were later located outside the mall and have been taken into custody. Shortly after this incident happened, Chief Gasick asked the State Bureau of Investigation to handle the investigation into the officer-involved shooting. This incident frightened a lot of people at the mall and it's understandable that many people will have questions about what happened here today. The Concord Mills Mall has policies and plans in place for a terrible situation like this and I want to give them credit for following those plans and helping with the early investigation. If anyone has cell phone video or video footage of what they saw, we urge you to contact the State Bureau of Investigation at 980-781-3000 and provide that information. There's a lot of investigation that will be done in the coming days and weeks by the State Bureau of Investigation. The Concord Police Department will be as transparent as the law allows while also ensuring that we aren't jeopardizing the State Bureau of Investigation's process. Well, there isn't much more information that I can add right now. I'll take any questions that you might have. What's the condition of the person who was shot? He's in critical condition at Atrium, Maine in Charlotte. Which store did this happen at? That is early in the investigation and I, I'm not sure I, and I don't want to say which store that we believe it happened at until we have more information. So they chased them through the mall into a construction area? So the chase began outside the mall. The officers confronted the suspects outside the mall. A foot chase, uh, per, they, they engaged in a foot chase throughout the outside of the mall. The suspects ran in the mall, through the mall, into an area that's under construction for what looks like to be a new store. Okay, so it all happened inside the mall. It happened inside the mall, but the, the, the exchange of gunshots happened inside a construction area inside the mall. And this all started from people calling 911 saying that their credit cards were being stolen? Correct. Somebody called and said that their credit cards were stolen by three people in the mall. They provided a suspect description and also information of where they were. Uh, what, is, what are the ages on the suspects? I don't have the ages on the suspects. Again, the State Bureau of Investigation is handling that part of the investigation. They're working through things that's early in the investigation. And we'll, we or the State Bureau of Investigation will release that information when it becomes available. Do you have evidence that supports that the three suspects that you all pursued, uh, well, the two that you pursued and the one that was injured, were the suspects involved in the credit card theft? It's early in the investigation, but preliminary evidence indicates that, yes, that's the same people. Was only one gun found? It's early in the investigation. I know that one gun was found. I don't know how many guns were found. Do you consider... You said three suspects. Were they all male? That, correct. They were male, as far as I know. Only one of the suspects fired at an officer? That's, that's correct. One suspect fired a gun at the officer. Do you consider the Concord Mills Mall to be safe? I do. Why is that? Uh, and how can people feel safe when they see incidents like this? As you know, there have been other high-profile incidents here in the past. So the Concord Police Department subscribes to a community policing philosophy, and part of that is high visibility. 
Um, and, and so this, off, this, this area has 24 officers assigned to this district in addition to four sergeants and a captain. Um, crime statistics over the last several years, in particular this year, show that there's a, once again a decrease in crime, which is evidence that it's safe. How long have the officers involved been a part of the department? Um, one officer has been a member of the department for two years. One officer was in field training and has been a member for a couple months. Is the mall reopening? Uh, that would be a question for Conquer Mills Mall Management. I can't speak to that. It's early in the investigation. That would be something that, that would have to be determined at a later time. Thank you for, for your questions and your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.